you doing today? It's Ian with GuitarLessonsReview.com. Today I want to introduce you to two major chords, the E chord and the G chord. We're going to look at both of these chords in what's known as the open position, which is right at the nut here of the guitar, so playing it from the first fret forward. Um, when we talk about the open position, uh, that's supposed to maybe a bar chord, which could be on the one of the frets on your guitar, which would then recreate the nut. So open position we're talking about right on the first fret four. So we'll get right into it. I've used tab here on the whiteboard behind me to explain these two chords. Um, the E chord, for instance, what we've got here is tab, for just a quick overview, is basically looking at your guitar like this on a page. So what we've got is we've got the low E on the bottom and our high E on the top, and then some numbers in between. Zeros represent a, a, a string that will strum, but we don't actually fret. We don't press on any frets on that string. And then a number corresponds to the fret that we actually depress on that particular string. So let's take a look at the E chord and we'll go along with the tab as we play it. So we start with the, the E major chord is an open E string. So you'll notice there's a zero there, it's open. The next is on the A we play middle finger on the second fret of the A string. Next, on the D string, we use our ring finger on the 2nd fret of that string. So we've got 2nd fret A string, 2nd fret D string. Then we use our 1st finger on the 1st fret of the G string. Right? And then the next two strings are open, the B and the E. So if we strum those all together... close-up shot of how my fingers are positioned on the neck so you can ensure you're making the shape correctly. Okay, so for our E chord, what we've got, just the shape I made there earlier, was second finger on the second fret, third finger on the second fret of the D, and first finger on the first fret of the G. And that's... Notice how I'm using the tips of my fingers and my thumb is nice and in behind there so that I'm able to get that crisp sound and it's not bent over and muting some of the strings like that. You want to focus on nice using the tips of your fingers up straight like that. Okay, now let's look at the G chord. So our G chord, like the tab that we have in the E chord, but we'll go through it the same way. On the low E string, we're actually playing our third fret this time, but you want to use your middle finger on that. Next, we're on the second fret of the A string. So we're going to put our first finger on the second fret of the A. And then our third finger, pardon me, third finger, yes, on the third fret of the high E. And the other strings in between here, the D, G, and the B, they're open. So. Now this G chord can be a little difficult for beginners because your fingers are so separated when you make the shape. These two fingers can sometimes bend down like this and cause this blunting sound, which is okay, you'll, you'll get it right. What you want to keep in mind is that you're using the tips of your fingers to make the shape and that you've got your thumb nice and down and behind so it can stand up. Here's a close-up of this G chord so you can see the shape exactly how I've got it going. The G chord, this one is a little difficult like I just mentioned, so we're going to use our second finger on the third fret of the low E, first finger on the second fret of the A, and our third finger finger we're going to put on the third fret of the high E down here. Now this is going to feel a little awkward first, but again, like the E chord, you want to focus on using the tips of your fingers so that... Notice, see, I'm not muting any of the strings, where if I, if I wasn't using the tips, I don't get that nice, crisp sound. you want to note here, that bends sort of at that joint like that, to be able to make that, or you can try and wrap around even further. So, what you want to do with these chords, is you want to practice them one at a time right now. Don't worry about switching between them. That can be a little bit more frustration than you need in the beginning stage. So, Take your first chord, the E, and practice playing it in this fashion, just with downstrokes. Two, three, four, E, two, three, four. And then do the same thing with the G chord. Two, three, four. Practice that uh, off 
off and on between those two chords and worry about getting the sound right, not so much how quickly you're able to strum while you're holding the chord. And then if you feel confident, go ahead and you can practice strumming the sound between the two. That's it for intro to these first two chords, the E and the G major. I appreciate you watching and happy practicing. Bye for now.